When you see this full screen navigation, then this full page navigation animation that you would just love to apply to your own navbar. And then finally see the links within the full screen navbar having such text animation, you would then get the idea of merging all three of them into this awesome looking full screen menu navigation. Now obviously, we're not turning this into a rainbow with every color dumped on top navigation menu. We're keeping it clean, modern, not a UI sugar rush. This full screen navigation menu will have minimalistic design, full screen overlay, smooth animations, interactive hover preview, modern typography, flat and geometric layout and focused on motion design. For this full page navigation menu we are using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We will also use the General Sans Extra Light and Bold Fonts. In the demo we had a bold title but I think we can have an extra light title for the web page and bold one for navigation menu link. We also have these root variables set with only two colors for this entire thing to make it minimalistic and consistent design while also having some other fixed values we will use. Time to start writing HTML structure for this full screen navigation menu. In HTML, we use a checkbox input with the ID page nav toggle. This acts as the trigger to open and close the menu. The label with a for attribute is linked to that checkbox. It contains an SVG icon with two groups icon menu, hamburger, and icon close, X shape. While this icon is being created, hit that subscribe button to see more content like this and comment below if you think I can improve my videos. I would love to hear your opinions. Then we have a nav tag with the class main navigation, which holds our navigation links. Each link, A, has a data text attribute. This will later power our animated text preview. Below the navigation is the main content area. It contains a simple title and paragraphs just to simulate a page layout. Finally, the data text preview div is where the large preview text appears when we hover over any navigation link. And that ends our HTML and now it's time to style our full page navigation menu with CSS. Now let's break down the CSS. This handles all the styling and animations. The body is centered using flexbox and styled with a dark text on light background look. I think if I explain everything in CSS from time to time, it will irritate you to be suddenly disturbed by an AI voice again and again. So I will just go over entire CSS in one go. 
Dynamic font size and line height ensure the heading scales well on different screen sizes. The bottom margin creates breathing space between the heading and other elements. The navigation toggle, checkbox, is visually hidden but still usable. The label containing the SVG menu icon is absolutely positioned in the top right. This hidden checkbox is used as a toggle switch for the navigation menu. When checked, it triggers a series of animations and style changes through the checked pseudo class. We use SVG stroke pads to create the hamburger and close icons. They are animated using transforms when the menu is toggled. The nave starts off screen, translate X minus 100% and slides into view when toggled. The transition is smooth, controlled via nave duration variable and root. A pseudo element after acts as a background overlay animated separately using the nave BG keyframes for a slick entry animation. It creates a skewed sliding animation for the background. Each list item gets an animated underline, triggered by the toggle via nave line animation, which mimics a line growing and shrinking for added polish. Each link is large, bold, uppercase, and centered uses WebKit text stroke to create an outline text effect, reveals a background gradient when hovered, background size animation, and moves into place via the link appear keyframes when the nave is toggled on. The data text preview element sits centered and is hidden by default. When active is added, it fades in with tighter letter spacing, acting as a dynamic label that changes based on hovered links. Main content contains the main site content that translates out of view when the navigation menu is active. When the hidden checkbox is checked, sibling elements animate, icon group shifts, main content moves out, main navigation slides in, and LIA items trigger keyframe animations. And finally, we use keyframes to animate the background and text transitions when toggling. The Nev BG animation slides and skews the background overlay into place, Nev line animates the underline bar, and Link appear slides the Nev links up to their final position.
At last, our CSS is done. Now let's use JavaScript to add data text in the background of the full screen menu. This JavaScript handles hover effects for navigation links. When a link is hovered, it resets others, highlights the current link, updates the preview text from its data text attribute, and triggers a fade in animation. On mouse leave, the link and preview reset. Seems like we are done with JavaScript, so let's see what we cooked in finalization. The animated NAV reveal, the underlines, the text hover effect, and the big preview in the center. If that doesn't convince you to subscribe, I don't know what will. But first let's dim down on the data text opacity to place it more on the background. This looks better, right? Oh wait, I know exactly what will convince you to subscribe more and that is the code you guys will get when my subscribers get to 500. But since I'm not one to gatekeep code, I'll drop it in two to three days, unless I hit 500 subs sooner. Either way, don't hesitate to subscribe. Now if you have been dealing with my dead humor for 17 minutes straight then, 